Hello, Tab Nation. <clears throat> it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a Excel uh, tutorial with Auto Hotkeys. It's one of my most populars uh, that I have on my top 10 watch list, I think. So we're going to revisit this. Today we're going to be talking about how to do two things, really. How to run a Auto Hotkey script from Excel using VBA, but then also how to take VBA and convert it into auto hotkeys you know a lot of you might already know vba you're new to auto hotkeys and you want to take a script that you already have this also gives you a little bit more freedom and functionality uh, versus vba where it's just kind of solely for microsoft office where this would pretty much do the same thing vba does but with like a lot more uh, functionality that auto hotkey does provide so first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and open... Um, today we're using uh, Libre uh, Calculator, which is basically just a knockoff of Excel. That's fine. They work pretty much the same, um, both Excel and this. Uh, so let's resize that. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to on this program. It could be a little different in Excel. Uh, to Tools, Macros, Edit Macros. Like I said, Excel is going to be a little bit different. Just in case you don't know what this is, it's uh, basically a knockoff of Word, Excel, Microsoft Office in general. Uh, but it's free, has a lot more customization, modifications, and it's open sourced, which is pretty cool. I did a video on it, uh, introducing it a while back, but yeah. So here's where we're going to be putting our code. We're going to go ahead, and I already have this in my clipboard to make it faster. And we're just going to, this is going to be our code right here. So sub main and then we're doing shell, and in parentheses, we're putting, you know, the uh, the language here, auto hockey, so you might have to change your file path based on where it is and what version you're running, that kind of thing. And then this is going to be the location in the quotations uh, down here, double quotes, is our actual auto hockey script. So as you see, I have this pointed at my desktop uh, for a script called just test2 auto hockeys. Uh, unfortunately, I can't zoom in here, so I'll uh, copy and paste this code. Well, I guess you don't really need it, but or I'll post it in the description below, uh, just because it is kind of hard to see with this because I can't zoom in, it seems, unfortunately. But hey, whatever. Uh, yeah, and that's as simple as it is, so we're going to go ahead. We got the little run here, or F5. We're going to go ahead and press that. And there we go. So we got test two, and it's just some message boxes that are popping up. I can go through them, and they'll close off, um, which you'll actually see that script here in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So you can run it from here, make a macro that runs your auto hotkeys. It's going to give you way more flexibility in the long run. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at some code here now. Um, so yeah, that that was just this right here. It's a simple loop, which is actually... Um, for a video I'm doing next called Arrays in V2. So look out for that. Uh, but this is a converter. So someone wrote this, and I'll obviously put the description below the link to it. Uh, th their username is literally just Auto Hockey User, so I don't know. Very cool name, I guess, for uh, this form. Uh, but yeah, you can come here. They have some screenshots and whatnot, but all the... Um, code is right here that you can copy and paste over and you just paste it in here uh, so shout out to this guy I mean it's pretty good it's you know 500 lines of code almost so obviously I'm not going to explain how this works just know that it does but there is one thing you need to do for some reason um, on line uh, 488 there is a URL here you need to comment that out uh, for some reason, it wasn't commented out when I copied and pasted, so it tries to think that this is a command when it's not. Uh, I believe that was the one I had to comment out, was this, 488. There was another one, too, uh, which is this one. Line 445 also needs to be commented out. I didn't really look into it. I'm not 100% sure what this is doing. I didn't care enough. I just know that commenting this out just fixed the issue. Uh, so I left it in there. Yeah, maybe eventually I'll try to figure out what it's actually doing. I'm sure I can figure it out pretty fast, but I don't feel like it. All I know is, hey, you close it, it works. <clears throat> so we got our script here. Obviously, save it as a .ahk file. We're going to go ahead and launch that. And here we go. <clears throat> 
So uh, over here on this side, um, it's going to be the VBA code. So as you saw, um, it kind of came with this already. So it, it, it takes whatever's already in your clipboard and puts it over. So I don't know. That's kind of weird to me, but hey, whatever. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and delete that. As you see, it live changes. You also have a drop down here for switching between Excel and Word, depending on what kind of code you're going to be using. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab some code real quick that we can spit in there. All right, here are some that I just randomly grabbed. And um, so this is for highlighting, as you can see, yellow uh, within a range. So from B2 uh, to B10 right there. Uh, so that's our VBA. Uh, and then over here, it's just converting it into auto hotkeys, which as of right now, it seems to be only in version one. I haven't found a version two yet, but you can run this through the V1 to V2 converter. I did a video once again on that, on how to do that pretty straightforward. Uh, you can also click this little thing, show indentation. And um, that's actually gonna give you like, kind of like the full code. You know, you got your tries and catches here. Um, so everything that you would need. Uh, for as far as connecting through the comms, because um, you are going to need those if you don't already have them in your code, depending uh, if you've already wrote some or not. But yeah, that's what that's going to do. Uh, you can push edit. Uh, edit is going to automatically save it to your desktop, and it's just going to name it ahk underscore code, uh, which you can see right here. Um, and it's just going to launch it into an editor. Uh, run. I don't really have this set up properly to work with run, but that's how that works. All right. Um, <clears throat> like I said, in Excel, this will work. It just might be slightly different. Here we go. It's <clears throat> I didn't have VS Code running, so it's just taking a second to launch. But we'll go ahead and launch it just to see what it looks like and why it's doing that. Don't forget to subscribe. Always throwing out videos, usually on auto hotkeys, but just automation in general when it comes to coding and computers. Uh, and hit that like button if you like it. I'll try to do another video on this, Excel, Microsoft Office. Give me some ideas of what you want to see in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll try to do that. If I hit 30 likes, I always try to do a follow-up video if I can. Um, so yeah, here it is. It'll automatically, like I said, it just kind of gives it a default name. Um, but yeah, it will automatically give you all your code here, and then you just, you know, adjust it to whatever you need. Maybe you want it to range through, you know, C10 or something. You can change that uh, however you want. And obviously, VS Code's being really slow right now because it's still trying to load, and I can't even type right now. There it goes. C10. So just, yeah, and then, you know, if you don't want it to be yellow, you can change these uh, to whatever you need, uh, hex colors, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye.